This method can help answer key questions in the gastroenterology field about the impact of members of the microbiota, specifically those of the genus Helicobacter, on inflammation and cancer. The main advantage of this technique is that it allows the study of Helicobacter infection and its impact on the stomach under physiological conditions. The implications of this technique extend toward the development of therapies for the prevention or elimination of Helicobacter infection or its consequences, including antibiotics, drugs, or vaccines. These methods provide insights specific to the pathogenesis of Helicobacter infection. However, several of the techniques may be adapted to the study of other gastrointestinal pathogens. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle with the preparation of a bacterial inoculum capable of establishing an infection in mice. It is imperative that the Helicobacter isolates are known mouse colonizing strains that have not undergone extensive subculture in vitro. In addition, the number of in vitro subcultures for these strains should be recorded. Add bacterial suspensions to 15 milliliter polystyrene tubes and use a plastic loop to transfer one 10 to 20 microliter droplet from each culture onto individual glass microscope slides. Then assess the viability and motility of the bacteria under phase contrast microscopy at a 100 times magnification. Only use the H. pylori inocula if the majority of the bacteria have a bacillary shape. H. felis inocula should primarily contain helical-shaped bacteria.